Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last time, we had finally decided to enter the Brazilian ruins after talking to our companions for a little bit. Fantastic! We fought a bunch. We've been fighting a bunch of undead. We fought a small dragon. <sighs> Must have been a male because female dragons get huge. Male dragons, not so much. I don't know why, but whatever. We also helped a trapped elven spirit find release into the afterlife, which is always a plus, and we fought a revenant at the very end. Fantastic. Now let's continue our exploration of these ruins, shall we? What's behind door number one? Ah! Fire traps, that's what's behind door. Shout Liliana for Zevran, and I had to do a traps constantly. Fantastic. Wow, that is loud. Yeah, according to OBS, the, uh... Oh boy, this is causing everything to pee. Oh my god, I can't fix that. Okay. Well, Zevron, maybe you could actually give her a trap, so we wouldn't have be having this issue now, would we? Let me see if I can fix this. Audio. Sound effects we lower. Music we lower, and we should be good. Probably not, though. Okay, we didn't automatically peak. That's a good sign. I'm gonna have to wait until we actually get into actual music within combat to figure that out truly. Oh, metal door. Okay, we're on the other side of this hallway, so that's a plus. Oh great, the game's auto-saving, that's probably not a good sign. Got it. Oh, I gotta love being able to double-click. And, yep, the, uh, audio mixer is no longer peaking. That's a good sign. Uh, gotta love sound mixing on older games, or in general. Uh, it's like they weren't made to be used for recording purposes. I wonder why that is. Uh, I'm just rambling again. That's not a good sign. I still remember my first battle. Wait. Uh. Hang on. Wait. What? Oh, that's what I'm hearing. All right. I was wondering what that noise was. Uh, it's the old man taking a bath right now. Then again, I am recording now this at well, like five in the morning, so, and he's got surgery in the to do in, down in Pittsburgh. I think Pittsburgh. That's the closest place. Could be eerie for all I know. Oh, that's an arcane horror. Let us just uh, do that. Oh my lord, have mercy. How long does paralysis do? Fuck's sake. Ow. Oh, my God. 
takes care of him. Now deal with this punk. You're gonna regret this. Never mind, I've been paralyzed again. Wonderful. And I'm dead. Oh my fucking god, seriously, how hard is it for Okay, fine, we'll take care of these assholes first. <sighs> Why does this part take forever? Oh, Wind's dead, that's great. Very well. Amazing how much backstabbing can do. Oh shit. Oh, oh this guy's being Oh, this guy's being a prick. It's almost as if we can't get to him in time. You having fun there, Alistair? Finally, actually make him stop teleporting. Finally, all we had to do was just stand in the circles. Holy shit, that took longer than it should have. Oh, hey, Sue Chainmail. And Apollo Rags. Hello. Taking these. And of course, not. What are you waiting for? Heal me! Ah, uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Injury kit. Injury kit. Group heal. I for... I forgot to do this. That was my bad. Ally. Uh... Status? Where's dead? Uh. Uh. Status. Charm, paralysis, stun, sleeping, knocked down, rooted, serrated, slowed, grab, grabbing, immobilized, moving, impaired. Hmm. I guess lowest health, then we use revival. I'm not actually sure if that's gonna work, but uh, pretty sure uh, the person with the lowest health is technically classified as dead. Anyway, that was fun. Um, let's get rid of the dark spawn dagger. That is absolute trash. should allow us to pick up that ruby. Thank you. I really need to get out of here and start selling some more crap. But we got more undead to kill. Fantastic. Can 
I get you a ladder? Oh, these ain't trapped. So you can I'm get surprised. off my back? Or locked. Ooh. Well, I can't take the diamond with me. That's bullshit. Let me fi just fix that. No, I can. If you're gonna give me the option to take a diamond with me, of course we're gonna take the diamond. Soldier's corpse. Eh, just some money. It's not like I need it. Oh, boy. Okay. Moving on. There's not that much fucking background music, is there? Hmm. Of course. Perhaps I could have a try at that. Why am I not surprised? Ooh, ancient elven armor. And legacy white shear. Uh, chainmail. Get rid of. Heavy chain mail we'll get rid of. We'll take all that. Unfortunately, I got cheated out of a piece of the ancient elven set because it, it was a bug. Goddamn blothering. <sighs> well, that sucks. What also sucks is I can't loot those chests. Because Zevran cannot pick a Pot, uh, pick a lock to save his own goddamn life. And where the fuck am I? Werewolf flare. I forgot to do a quest. I forgot to do something in here, in this place. Whoops. I forgot to do the ancient elf ritual quest. Don't want to finish the main quest before I do that. No sir. I better get that. That eh. I better get that done first. But that's going to take some backtracking. Fantastic! Ow, traps. All that bonus XP is going to waste. All because I decided to take Zevron with me. Well, to be fair, Zevron is, is pulling his weight in combat. Outside of combat, not so much. Okay. The water in the pool appears cool and clean. It is refreshed from some internal source, perhaps magically submerged in the water, but appears to be a small earthen jug. Examine and test the water carefully. The water appears normal. Dipping your hand to it, it is cool to the touch. It's definitely circulated by some unknown force. We'll leave that alone for now. However, we'll check... Is it under the Brazilian forest? Yes, it is. The earthen tablet you recovered is covered in writing, perhaps elven. Most of the lettering is faded, making it indecipherable. There are numerous pictographs, however, which seem to indicate some core cleansing ritual to perform prior to honoring the dead. The first pictograph depicts a filled earthen jug being placed upon an altar. The second shows an elf kneeling before the altar and praying. The third shows an elf taking a single sip of water from the jug. The fourth shows the elf emptying the remainder of the water in the jug in the pool. The last shows a uh, elaborate doorway, perhaps opening or closing. It's unclear which. Well, okay then. If the jug is full of water, then we take the jug. You take the jug out of the pool. It's made of clay and appears to be none the worse for its long submersion. Fill the earthen jug with water. It's filled up. Now we take it over to the altar. Got it. The altar is plain and covered in a thin layer of dust. I don't see the dust, but whatever. Numerous carvings have covered surface most of are beyond the legibility. The carvings are fading. What will you can make out of all the scene where the honored dead is laid to rest inside Grand Chamber? Some kind of process filling the altar, blah 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 blah. Place the earth filled earthen jug on top of the altar. And now we kneel before the altar and pray. Touching your forehead to the ground as depicted on Tevit, you feel a sense of rightness and approval around you. Then we examine the jug. Take a single sip. Now 
Now we take the jug, leave the altar alone, then pour back into the pool. Gotta do rituals right, otherwise you're fucked. So you spill the water out of the jug back into the pool. So the jug is empty, it suddenly shatters to pieces falling into the pool. And... Bish bash bosh. The door is now open. Now we can get our first piece of the Juggernaut set, if I remember correctly. Oh, split mail boots. Bleh. And we gotta deal with more undead and probably demons as well, considering this is an elven burial ground. Ow. Oh, thanks for the email. It's probably not very important. Yeah, I thought so. It's just fucking ads. Great. Got a little spam that gets through the spam filter. Viridium chainmail. A viridium helmet. Viran Salanon. Viranala Foros. Oh boy, and we can't speak a lick of Elvish, apparently. I don't understand what you're saying. You need help or you're lost here, spirit. Poor you gone, creature. You have no place here. Uh, let's try the uh, diplomatic approach first. It's probably going to be pointless, but. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Oh, wait, she's casting. That's not a good sign. I can't believe we use this chain lightning. Oh, that's why Zevrim wasn't helping. He was killing his own person. Now is better than later. His own shade. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. And inside here is the Juggernaut Plate Armor. Look at that resistance is. It is nice. And let's get rid of Yeah, let's get rid of the heavy plate. Pick this instead. Thenera. The mage's treasure. Oh boy. You recovered one of a set of four items hidden by a Deventer mage. The others are buried with several Deventer generals out in the forest. Oh. Well, that explains who the revenants are. All right, all right. Oh boy. Oh well, might, might as well examine the Juggernaut set. A seal of the Archon appears in gold. The writing of the hauberk is covered in Tevinter writing, which glows faintly with lyrium. When equipped with a set of Juggernaut gloves, boots, and helm, the character gains a bonus of strength and constitution. Very useful to have. Which makes it purely a warrior set of armor, but uh, the thing is that the uh, bonuses a single piece gives are very useful. Plus 10 to all resistances? Sure, why not? Du, 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 du. Unfortunately, because it's classified as massive armor, you need a shit ton of strength to do it. Let's see, I should be getting another talent at level 12, if I remember right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Flemeth, Mage Collective, Carol's Accusations, Places of Power. We got the Circle Tower in the forest. Deep Rose and Diamond Room are next. Uh, 
two in Denerim, one in Orzammar. Travel with the Brazilian Force and slay Cabal Maleficarum. I think I need to actually do some fast traveling, because events can't overlap one another, unfortunately. Okay, let's go into the werewolf lair itself and see what kind of trouble we can cause. Severin, why? Oh, why? If you're like, if you're, if you had like one or two points in stealth and one point in lockpicking, that'd be fine. But no, you can't have a single point of lockpicking at all. I think I harp on that too much. Anyway, how do we access the werewolf where? Where? The werewolf lair, not where. Lair. That's an L, not a W. We gotta swim to it, of course. And two out of the four of us are all are wearing plate. Ugh, that should that must have been fun. Where are the werewolves? Can I get you a ladder? Oh, corpse skull. So you can get off my back. I need more corpse skull. Uh, anything else? Nope. Now it's time to fight some wolves. And immediately get you away. Amazing. That solved a lot of my problems. And Zerkin dies, because I'm an idiot. Stop trying to terrorize me, it's not working. Yeah? Okay. Oh boy. Oh, that didn't work as well as I thought it would. Uh, now we have to do with shadow wolves. Which essentially are werewolves that can go in stealth mode. Fantastic! Well, at the very least, Alistair is drinking potions. Alright, alright. Uh Oh boy. Do I do the smart thing? No, apparently that's not the smart thing. Zevran, you have a strange idea of what's in here. Everyone's dead again. That's fantastic. That's what I like to see. When drink a lyrian potion for God's sakes. Do this. Okay. Tactics. Self. Mana. Less than 50. You want to drink. Least powerful Lyrian potion. Okay. Now, before I was so rudely interrupted. I have some options. I can either leave this place and head back to 
the uh, head back to the camp and sell my stuff, or I could continue on and avoiding all the treasure. Oh, god damn it! Looks like I'm leaving because I want loot. God damn it. <laughs> because my s and the problem no wait 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 why would it, why should I take the long route? I'll take the shortcut. Which is through the werewolf lair. Don't take the long way back. Take the shortcut. Because if I come back here later, whatever's in the treasure will either be better, or what's in the treasure will either be better, or it will be... Apparently, I can't take lesser healing potions with me now. Great. Fantastic. I'm not even gonna, just, I'm not even gonna bother trying to loot. I'm just gonna run on through here. Fuck it. Got it. Oh. Stop! Brothers and sisters, be at ease. We do not wish any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parlay? Well, since they actually utter the word parlay, we have to abide by the rules. Wait, we're not pirates. <laughs> God damn it. We're talking right now, aren't we? So talk, who are you? Parlay! Talking will accomplish something like you parlayed with the Dalish. I've come for Witherfang's heart, nothing less. Well, we're obviously talking right now. Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm. Provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. Uh, don't take me to this lady. How do I know you and I won't be walking to another ambush? Well, we can deal with werewolves. Hang on a minute. So why doesn't this lady come and speak to me herself? If you are willing to talk, why didn't you earlier? Is your lady with her fang? Forget, not about to trust any of you. Well, we might as well get some answers, so... Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the Lady of the Forest. Uh, sorry, I was uh, I was distracted. I'm busy reading up on Alora's uh, Hollow Quest and see if uh, there's a way. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, I am not uh, seeing anything. Sorry, I was just checking to see if uh, completing the main quest involving the werewolves and the Dalish would affect Alora's Hala quest. And one of the pathways 
does affect it rather deeply, but the other way is not so much. Alright. Anyway. Hello, pretty lady. Who seems strangely out of place, but, uh, reminds me of the, uh, ah, oh, crap, weather dryads. Dryads in The Witcher. Is it the dryads? Oh, it's been a while since I played The Witcher 1, so I don't remember. Really, you seem more like the lady of the ruin to me. Thank you, I'm glad we had this chance to talk. I must admit, I was expecting another werewolf, so you're what the werewolves have been helping down here. What did you want to talk about? Might as well be courteous. Do not listen to him, lady. He will betray you. We must attack him now. Hush, Hush swift runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that, is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider, to set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift on his behalf. He struggles with his nature. Rabbit dogs usually need to be put down. You lead the werewolves to, as do we all, lady. Yeah. Despite what civilized society will tell you, humanity is also a very savage beast. And some people are more inclined to indulge their darker natures. Which usually results in very atrocious acts performed against your fellow people. Anyway, we can discuss philosophy later. I gotta love the stereotypical hair censorship. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. Kind of obvious. Is that so, such as, how do you know what he has or has not told me? I'm only wondering where Witherfang is. No, I don't have any questions, really. <laughs> It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. The humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. That's horrible. They deserve what they got. And what does this have to do with anything? So Zathium cursed him, I take it. <laughs> Gotta love the dialogue sometimes. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to be. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and Savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady. You gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage, and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. Why should I care about any of this? Why did you damn ambush Deus for revenge? So why didn't you rejoin human society? These werewolves still seem pretty savage to me. Hmm. I imagine most of the original werewolves are dead. Because I don't think werewolves have a pseudo-immortality. Excuse me. So why did they ambush? In part, we seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who are long dead. 
Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. I very much doubt it. Considering I think Zafrian has become... Uh, if overcome by spite all these many years. Alright, I'll bring Zathrian. Or, if you have a higher persuasion, you can actually convince the werewolves to kill all the elves. And have werewolves as allies during the Blight instead, which is interesting. I think he wishes to cure his own people, nothing else. I'm no messenger, I need to kill with the thing, that's it. What happens to you doesn't matter to me. Why would Zathrian agree to come here alone? Well, might as well bring him here anyway. Tell him if he refuses, I will ensure that Witherfang is never found. He will never cure his clan. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Neat. Well, we now have a faster way to getting out of here. And coming back. So, here's hoping all the treasure stays here. Otherwise, I'm going to be really pissed off. And we're back. And this will take us straight back to the entrance, pretty much. Hello, treasure pile. I might as well loot you and see what I get. Really? A single suit split mail? Fuck off. Fuck off with that shit. <sighs> you gotta love when you don't have any set of nail clippers to fix your nails and you have to use your teeth. What the? Why do I keep getting stuck on the steps? Come on. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're in the main chamber. Nice. Hello, Zathrian. Hello, door that was previously shield. Shield. Sealed shut, not shield shut. Oh boy, I'm not even drunk and I'm slurring. Ah, and here you are already. Zathrian, what are you doing here? How'd you get here? When the forest kept you out? I figured I'd find you here. Didn't trust me, did you? Yeah, it's too convenient that he's here. Did you? Aren't you the intuitive one? There was no way to tell what would happen once you reached this ruin, so I decided to come myself. We well, you're too late. You mean you wanted to make sure that I got the heart? We need to talk, you and I. Hmm. Well, options two and three are the best, so we need to talk. Yes, yes, there will be plenty of time for that. Did you acquire the heart? Wouldn't you like to know? I'd rather talk about a deal. No, I didn't. Might as well be straight with him. You didn't. May I ask then, why are you leaving the ruin? Uh, one, to get you. Two, just so you can break the curse. Three, so I can sell all my stuff and loot this place dry. Uh, so you knew about these ruins. Why didn't you tell me? I've been sent to bring you back to the Lady of the Forest. The lady wants someone with her fang until you break the curse. Yeah, might as well tell him that we'd been sent. Oh, is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? Oh, that's simple. She wants to break the curse. What is it you think she wants? It doesn't matter. Come with me now. She wants someone with her fangle unless you break the curse. You do understand that she actually is with her fang? Kind of figured. Mainly because of the uh, branches on Witherfang's legs match the branches on the lady's uh, body, legs, arms. Yes, I thought as much. I thought Witherfang was a male wolf. Eh, she is, though, so they lied to me. <laughs> wow. Derpy. She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. 
Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the Lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. Good to know, I'll be right back. Oh boy, sorry about that. I went to go refill my coffee. Man, why am I so tired? Ugh. Anyway, first came from her, then blah 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 blah. But the werewolves have regained their minds. The, fur the curse first came from you. Will you remove the curse or not? Well, technically, Zathian cast it in the first place. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. I assure you, the werewolves have regained their minds. We'll kill. We'll kill. Yeah. Will killing Witherfang break the. That doesn't sound right. Won't you at least consider talking to them? I'm not going to help you do that. Can we at least try dialogue first? Why? You claim they have regained their minds, but they are still savage beasts. Their nature is unchanged. All they want is revenge, or a release that I will not give them. No, let us take the heart and end it. Do you still have so much hatred after all this time? I assure you the werewolves have regained their minds, and we're just repeating dialogue. You were not there. You did not see what, what what, they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are Elven. You know what it is like to have injustice thrown in your face. Their crimes could not go unanswered. But the ones who committed the crimes were, are dead by centuries. But those crimes were committed centuries ago, but it's your own people suffering now as well as them, so your answer is to let them suffer forever? Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? Yes, but the problem is that those people are now dead. <laughs> now you're just being cruel and having unusual punishment. Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? Ah, uh, yes I will. I don't think it will come to that. I will unless you attack first. Of course not. It probably won't come to that. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. Let you pick the locks on doors and chests, otherwise won't open. Yeah, if they have the skill in it. So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit, and you've given names to your pets. These beasts who follow you. It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages. Worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No. I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? Let's see, he said he summoned you and bound you to a wolf. He may have, but I didn't understand it. Doesn't make a difference. 
Well, he told us. The summoning and binding parts? Probably... Something he left out is probably important. And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestor, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! Well, technically the secrets of Elven immortality involve the Fade, and that's just getting into the end of Inquisition. <laughs> but, uh, that's just... That's not either here nor there. So would Zathrian's death end the curse? Can you blame him? Who wants to die? Just how far will you go for your revenge, Zathrian? Uh, so his death will end the curse. That sounds fine. No. The curse has a life of its own, though Zathrian's life depends on it. His death plays a part in its ending, however. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way. I don't care, Zathrian. I won't help you do this. You will end this curse if I had the force you myself. Sorry I had to come to this, Swift Runner. Go for the heart, Zathrian. You have my support. Mother bald motherfucker, you're ending this, whether or not I have to shove a sword through your chest or not. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Now, admittedly, you have two options in this fight. Either side with Zathrian or side with the wolves. Admittedly, siding with Zathrian is probably the easier out of the two because all you have to do is just fight some werewolves, Witherfang, and Swift Runner, and that's easy. But if you side with the werewolves, they count as allies, but Zathrian has casted a permanent mass paralysis on all of them, and they can't help you in this fight. Which results in us having to fight Zathrian, some Sylvans, and some Shades. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Alistair, you go after Zathrian. Let's do this right off the bat. This way, Zathrian is running low on MP. And he'll attack random wolves. Oh, that's great. And there goes Alistair. Oh, great. Win. Is, has the oral weakness, and we're almost dead. That's great. What do you mean you resisted? Okay, we're gonna have to do this. Looks like we're doing the solo fighting. Wow, this guy has some resistance. Ah, oh, fuck you. You piece of shit. Okay, focusing on Zathrian didn't really do anything, which means we have to focus on everything else first. Alright. Crushing prison. There's grass. Here are the shades. Oh, it's easier. I 
I've been horrified. Sylvans win. Can't cast revival. What we can do is group heal. Uh, missile attacks. No, we want heroic offense on Alistair. I am being affected by blood magic. Awesome. Okay, that takes care of the Sylvans. Okay. So far, is almost dead. He practically is dead, but he's essential and can't die. And is it time to kill something? Indeed, it is time to kill something. And that name is Zathrian. I love being infected by blood magic so much. Oh my God! Here we go again. I usually don't have this much trouble. Then again... Oh wait, I know what the problem is. Wind's casting revival at the wrong time. But the problem is I don't know the actual correct thing to do. Hmm. I'll just clear that. Win, uh, get out of the way. Okay, we cast Revival on Zevron. Ready. Or a weakness is not helping us at all. Okay. Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I, I cannot do it. Is that true, or are you afraid of dying? Hasn't this gone on long enough, Zathrian? Would you really let your clan die for this? Yeah, I think this has gone on long enough. Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. 
It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end to it all. Magically, they somehow still have clothes, even though that makes no sense for them to have any. It's over. She's gone, and we're human. I can scarcely believe it. Don't worry, it could be a lot worse. I do good work, time to pay up, so what are you gonna do now? Very, yes, very well, well, I need to get back to the Dalish. Yeah, what's their plans now? We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. Although you guys apparently still have the uh, eyeballs that dictate that you were werewolves, apparently. Well, Zathrian's now dead. Fantastic. Oh boy. Okay, well, that essentially ended the curse. Now we just need to head back to the Dalish camp and gain our reward. And once we do that, if we don't get stuck on the stairs. God damn it. I'm gonna have to come back here and loot everything, aren't I? Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Yeah, uh, like that load screen said. Magic increases the effectiveness of healing potions and other medicinal herbs and other such rot. So technically, for any class, there is no dumb stat. They all do something. But why would you invest in magic while you're a warrior and all that's doing is increasing how much health potions give back? It's kind of redundant. And stupid. Oh, that's neat. We could just travel back to the camp from here. Party camp. Oh boy. That was fun. Ah. Ugh. You know that feeling you have when it feels like there's something stuck behind your molars in between your wisdom teeth? Mm. Then again, my wisdom teeth haven't popped out of my gums just yet. I hope they never do, because I really don't want to go to the dentist to get those ripped out. Ugh. Anyway, I'm out of time, ladies and gentlemen. I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Next time, I'm going to sell a bunch of crap out of my inventory that I don't need. 
then I'm gonna head back to the ruins and collect all the treasure that I missed. That should be a fun little adventure. It's probably gonna be uh, complete and utterly pointless, but you never know, I may find something useful. But until then, thanks for watching, I'm Wonderful Evening, and I'll see you all next time.